Welcome back to my TV show. I'm in the bathroom right now because I'm about to give myself a haircut. People have asked me over the years about bullet cutting, so I think I'm ready to share this sauce. So let's get started. Most important thing you'll need is this. Shears of some sort. Recently I've been using a beard trimmer because I used to use like actual hair clippers, but they're just kind of big and they always have a wire. And at least for me, this is easier and it's pretty efficient. And sometimes those big shears get all like, da -da 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 -da. they make a really scary sound. And I don't like that. I don't like loud sounds. Obviously some little hair scissors. And the most important thing in my opinion, because my hair is thick and puffy, is thinning shears. They have these little grooves in there and they're really helpful for decreasing the puff. Having two pictures of honey badgers and a cowboy hat is not a necessity for hair cutting, but it does make me feel good to have them with me while I do this. My preferred way to cut the hair is to have one of those mirrors that opens out so you have the side view. But in my house that I'm in now, I don't have the three-way mirror. I've always said that the mullet is the best hairstyle to have if you're gonna cut your own hair because it's the one hairstyle where you don't even have to see the back. You don't have to worry about the back. I might fuck my hair up a little bit, but this is the other thing about about cutting your own hair is that you're probably gonna fuck it up. I've been doing this for a decade and I still very, very frequently will cut it a little bit too short. If you cut it too short and it looks silly for the first couple days, it'll always grow into being cool. This is the way to weave technique. I'm gonna try and use some caution in this video, specifically because of the way that I'm using this screen as my mirror. I don't wanna mess up my hair because right now it looks good but I'm in that phase of medium length hair where after I've slept on it and it's got that nice texture, like it looks really cool, but then if I take a shower, it just like kind of looks like a weird puff ball. So I just need to get a little bit of that weight off. I forgot to mention you also need a comb. A comb is good to have. So what I'm gonna do is essentially comb out my top puff and I'm gonna grab this clipper on five millimeters. This is like kind of a conservative millimeter length as well. It's hard to do this with the camera, I'm not gonna lie. I'm putting myself in grave danger right now. But I do it for you, because I care about you and your style and saving money. The most dangerous part is when you start to get over by the tail over here, it's easy to accidentally go too far. So just kind of be calculated with the ways that you, you know, you pull the ear over. Sometimes I put my tail in a hair tie. I'm gonna have to close the mirror and actually use it for a second because I'll put the front of my head in danger for you, but I will not put my tail in danger for this video because that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing. So give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So what you're left with, you see where there's like a hard line where the top of the hair starts. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do for the puff. Okay, so now as you can see, we got these kind of defined buzzed sides on each side. I'm looking like a full blown clown right now. But this is where the comb really comes in handy. So I'm gonna try and not give myself a weird little skull cap because that's what I always do. I cut it way too short on top because I think to myself like, if I cut it a little shorter, this cut will last longer, blah, 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 blah. And then the next thing you know, I've got a tiny little cap and I look like a nerd. What I might even do at this time to try and be safe is start with the thinning shears and just kind of run through all this puff and try and thin it out so that maybe it'll just kind of take on a nicer shape without losing too much actual length. So, I mean, I'm not a licensed cosmetologist by any means, but the way I use thinning shears is I just run them through the hair at random, which, I, I don't know works for me because they're thinning shears. When I'm doing this, it's not like fully cutting my hair as if this was real scissors. It's just kind of taking little pieces in between. Thinning them out. So yeah, that's kind of the technique there. I'm gonna continue thinning for a sec. Make sure that you get in this top layer here because like you'll see that this kind of has this weird like funny spiky element. So I like to lift that up and kind of run the thinning through that. I mean, we've lost a lot of fur already in this operation that I'm doing. Sometimes you do have to run the thinning shears through your tail. It's okay because as I said, they don't really cut the hair. This is what I'm gonna do here. I kind of like this length of cap. So I just wanna cut the tiniest amount off the sides. And this is where the real scissors come into play. 
proceed with caution, just straight across. I'm trying to cut like a fucking quarter inch because I don't want to wind up with egg in my beard. Just a little bit here. Right, I'm gonna close it and do this more safely. Be right back. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I know it looks kind of funny right now. It's like all flat. Something else to keep in mind when you're doing these cuts is like, as I was kind of mentioning before, is looking for the areas that are a little bulky. And it tends to be this little like back part in between the tail, like that's your, your crown chakra. Sometimes I just run the thinning shears through there. Sometimes I go crazy and I just fucking buzz it like way higher up, like a tighter line. But that's what I did the last time I cut my hair. And it did, it did honestly look a little funny for a while. That's when I cut it too short. I think I was just getting too excited. So now I'm kind of just doing some maintenance. Okay, this is looking pretty nice. See, the good thing too about cutting your own hair is you can always stop for an hour, stop for a day, stop for a week. You don't have to take it too far. It's not like being at a salon or something where they just go for it and then you're out 40, 60 bucks and then you're doomed. I'm gonna be responsible right now and stop while I think it looks okay. And I can do a little bit of touch-ups here and there if need be. Exercising caution when you're cutting your own hair is good. But also when you cut your own hair, if you do fuck it up, it's the way to week technique. It will grow back before you know it. And you didn't pay anyone to do it and it's fun. So that is the technique, but just as like a, a refresher, the four things you need are the trimmer, the thinning shears, normal scissors, and a comb. The most important part of the whole cut is obviously shaving off the sides. I already have a lot going on because I'm just sort of tailoring a mullet that I already have. Even if you had just the tiniest amount, it's just really making that shape is what gives it that mullet look. Buzz off the sides, you thin out the top if you need to do that. You cut and kind of shape the top so that it has a nice line going on and you leave the back to grow and that's pretty much it. It's actually very easy. Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to mess up. Let's just see how it looks after I get clean. Okay, this is the exclusive reveal. I sort of look like the villain from the fifth element right now. Right now I do have these kind of funny bangs, but I am emo, so that makes sense. That is the secret. This is the mullet tutorial. Every time you trim your mullet, the back just gets longer by virtue of the sides being shorter. Even though I didn't do anything to it, the back of my mullet just received an extension and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I hope this helped anybody who wants to cut their own hair. It's very easy. You might mess it up. I've messed it up many, many times. Those three-way mirrors I was talking about make it really helpful to get sort of tight lines on the side, but I feel like honestly, it doesn't really matter. That's the mullet. I hope you enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna go back into the stew now. Farewell.